Welcome, Coach Miller Light here. So glad to be here again today with a message from the teachings of Abraham. Abraham Hicks, this is from their book, Money and the Law of Attraction. I've been listening to it and writing down word for word what Abraham says. To tune myself to the message because it is in remembering how this universe works that I am fulfilled, that I am free, that life goes better for me, that I'm happier and I'm coming to realize that it is my reason for being. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's find out what Abraham said. They say most people naturally assume that if their life is not going the way they want it to go, something outside of them must be preventing the improvement. For no one would deliberately hold their own success away. But while pointing the blame at others may feel better than assuming responsibility for unwanted conditions, there is a very big negative repercussion for believing that something outside of you is the reason for your own lack of success. When you give the credit or blame to another for your success or lack of it, you're powerless to make any change. Powerless when I give the credit or the blame to something outside of myself for my success or lack of it, I'm powerless to make any change. When you desire success, but from your perspective, you're not currently experiencing it, at many levels of your being, you recognize something is wrong. And this strong feeling of personal discord magnifies your awareness that you're not getting what you want. It often sets into motion another counter, other counterproductive assumptions that evoke jealousy to others who are having success or resentment at a myriad of people you would like to blame for your, your lack of success, or even self-denigration, which is the most painful and counterproductive assumption of all. Really helpful, man. You know? We want you to know that this uncomfortable upheaval is not only normal, but it's the perfect response for your lack of success, for your feeling lack of success. Your emotional discomfort is a powerful indicator that something is very wrong. You are meant to succeed and failure should feel bad to you. You're meant to be well and sickness should, should not be accepted. You're supposed to expand and stagnation is intolerable. Life is supposed to go well for you. When it does not, there is something wrong. But what is wrong is not that an injustice has occurred or that gods of good fortune are not focusing upon you or that someone else has received the success that should have been yours. What is wrong is that you're out of harmony with your own inner being, with who you really are, with what life has caused you to ask for, with what, you've ex with what you have experienced, expanded to, and that ever, with the ever consistent laws of the universe. <laughs> okay, so what's wrong isn't that somebody else did something. It's not because of anything outside of me other than I am not a vibrational match to the success that I choose, to the success that my inner being has expanded to, to the success that is my birthright, to the success that is who I really am, is who we really are. And so the, the stagnation that's not success is uncomfortable and is meant to be because the uncomfortableness is our guidance. I'm really starting to catch on here, especially when I'm talking here on the show, which is why to do the show because it helps me to remember, because I'm gonna go through my day today and I'm gonna have guidance all day long. As I walk through this day, I'm gonna have emotional guidance letting me know if I am on track to the things that I'm choosing, to the success that I seek, to the fulfillment I desire, to living my purpose here on this planet, to having enough abundance to spare and share, to living my purpose. Did I say it? I'll say it again, living my purpose. All right. It's not somebody outside of me, it's me. It is that I am holding a thought, I'm holding a perspective that's not in harmony with what I'm choosing, that's all. That's all it is. I'm just holding a perspective that's on the minus and who I am is plus. Okay, they say, taking control is not difficult to do once you understand the basis of who you are and the basics of law of attraction and the value of your personal emotional guidance system that you were born with, which is always active and ever present and really easy to understand. Here it is again, this message of your emotional guidance system. So this is coming from Abraham Hicks, Money and the Law of Attraction book. And this emotional guidance system is pretty predominant, so I'm figuring this is my answer. 
at least part of my answer. I have guidance. I mean, hello. I'm just not following the guidance. But I could. I could start today. What do they say? When, when is it easy to follow the guidance? It's not difficult to do. Right? Taking control. Right? We're talking about taking control of this, of my mind, of my mind, my thoughts, my thinking, the direction of my thinking. So what am I going to do to be able to help myself here? Meditation is going to help because it's to quiet the mind. Exercise really, really helps because it get, releases the, the negativity from the physical body maybe better than anything that I know. Exercise is so helpful. Sunshine is going to help me. Raising my energy so that I have the power to run my thinking. To say to myself, okay, I'm in negative emotion. This means that my inner being has expanded to something good, something I choose, and currently my physical perspective, my physical thinking mind is holding a perspective that is not in harmony with what I've expanded to, so there's a, a restriction. That's what the negative emotion is. Now, all I have to do is say, okay, well, this is the tool we got on yesterday, pivoting, okay, I know what I don't choose. What is it that I do choose? I choose for the creative energy that creates worlds that is flowing through me always to be able to really flow through me. I choose to be an open channel to all that is, to this divine energy, to the sum and substance. I choose to follow my inner guidance. I choose to be aware of my guidance system. I choose to be a portal of positive energy. I choose to have enough abundance to spare and share. I choose to be able to do so much good in this world. I choose to live my purpose. I choose to be full of vitality and energy and vim and vigor and life. I choose to get up every day and say, yes, let's do it again. Let's go. Let's rock this day. That's what I choose. So what is it I don't, don't choose? We're the opposite of it. Can I pivot? Yes. If I remember to pivot. I'm remembering more and more. I'm remembering more and more. So, you know, I, got, I saw a quote today when I finished doing yoga on this app I really love. There was a quote. It said, nothing works if you don't. It only works if you do. I have to apply this if we're to work. The laws of the universe are consistent. There's no getting around them. I'm coming to understand. It's like gravity, okay? You got my easy button here? That was easy. And if I drop it, it drops. There's, it's, there's no getting around it. But see, what happens with gravity is that's so fast, right? I'm like, oh, there it goes. I quickly catch on. You drop easy button, easy button falls. Now here with the, with the laws of the universe as we're talking about creating our reality, law of attraction, there's this buffer of time between offering the vibration, thinking it, holding the perspective, and the receiving of the manifestation. And the buffer of time causes this illusion that Abraham talked about here earlier, that something outside of me is responsible because I wouldn't think that, I wouldn't do that. I'm just not realizing what I thought and how many thoughts I have in a day and how I came to my beliefs through a lifetime of, of them being proven to me. But the nature of the laws of the universe is our beliefs will always be proven to us. We will always be right. So what am I trying to prove? Am I trying to prove abundance? Am I trying to prove the job can be done easily and efficiently? That's what I choose to prove. So what is it that I do choose? I choose to follow my guidance system. I choose to forgive. I choose to be full of love. I choose to have love radiating from me, true, unconditional love for all of humanity, for all everything. All right, people. Until next time, this is Coach Miller Light. Shall we do a juggle to go on our way? What do you say? Let's see me I can get around. One, two, three, four. One of the tools I like here is counting up. One of the reasons juggling is helpful is because it gets me to focus and helps me to count up, to count my juggles. You know that mind movie that's going on in here that's not always positive unless I'm deliberately running it? Well, juggling is a way to help me stop that mind movie because it demands my focus. So there, there are others. Stay tuned for more tools. <laughs> for more tools. <laughs> Knock on wood.